this video, we're going to get started with creating a GORM account. So one thing I just want to point out again, if you're not sure how to get here, if you just search out GORM IDE, that's the best place. Because if you just go to GORM, you might come to another site or their main site. But if you get to the GORM IDE, just click on that and you could sign up here. So I'm going to go over here to sign up and I'll sign up right now. I'll sign up with my studio.com email and I'll put Homa Studio as my name. Now I have a couple accounts and I guess I'll leave that checked. That's okay. So let me verify before I even sign up, I could hit verify and it's sent. So I'm gonna go and just verify my email. Okay, and it should be verified now. So let me hit sign up. I'll X out of that. And it says select a job. And I guess I'm an educator. So I'll put teacher for now. You could put anything you want. And I'll just put English since I just pretty much work in English. I assume they're talking about speaking languages, not programming languages. So I'll just hit save. And now I'm in. And there it says Home Studio. So what I'm going to do first is create a container. So I'm going to create my new container. And sometimes you have to wait on this because they have to prove it. And it, it's not a big deal. They just want to make sure nobody's hacking in. So I'm going to create a new container. And I don't have the steps written down. So let me just make sure this works OK. So I'm going to call it Gorm PHP just like it did in my sample. So I'll just call it Gorm PHP for now. And it's just going to be a sample PHP container. That's all I'm using right now. And I'll use US since I'm in the US. And I'll just say, I guess it's public is fine. I shouldn't have a problem with public right now. And what I'm going to do, you can see there's all these options here that you could use. I mean, there's tons of stuff. It doesn't have WordPress listed here, but you can do WordPress as well. And I'll show you how to do that later. But for now, what we'll do is we're just going to choose PHP and it's going to be a PHP project and the only thing I think you have to check down here is install now they have enable that but I think I had problems with that and if you're going to use MongoDB with Python or anything like that any kind of no SQL you could do that I'm just going to check install my SQL right now and make sure that works okay and I'll go through that process and I think that's all I need to do so I'm going to hit create and this might take a little bit and I'm going to run my container right away or you can go to dashboard, whatever you want to do. I'm going to go to dashboard and make sure I see it and run it from here. Only because I think I had a problem one time when I tried to run it right away. So I'm just going to hit run. And this will take a little bit as well. And there we go. There's our container. Let's see if there's anything in it. The only thing in there is index.php. If you double click on it, that's that little sample file that I showed you initially. And you won't be able to see this until you actually go and set up your server and run your server. So I'm going to do all that in the next video. So I'll just stop here. So we'll just leave this as getting started, setting up our container. And then what we're going to do from here is we're going to install PHP my admin. We're going to make sure my SQL is running, all that kind of stuff. But that's just getting our account set up. So we should be good. I'll see you in our next video.